Hello and a very good day to everyone, boys and girls. How are you all doing? Welcome to another video on the channel. Today, I bring you a new tutorial on the solution for not being able to log into my free Fire account on my iPhone. Before we begin, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and watch the video until the end, as it's very important if you want to get it working. That said, let's get into the tutorial. Once we're on our phone, we go to the settings, then to General, and enter iPhone Storage. Here we need to look for the free Fire app, which is right here, and as you can see, we have two options. The option to offload app, which will free up the storage used by the app but keep its documents and data. In case you reinstall it, the data will be restored as long as the app is still available, and then we have the option we're interested in, which is delete app. This option will remove the app and all its related data from the iPhone. This action cannot be undone. So we tap there, and this way, all free fire data will be deleted. What do we do next? We go to the App Store, to the search bar, type Free Fire, tap it, and then tap Download. Now we have to wait a few seconds for the download to complete. The reason it sometimes won't let us log in or shows an error could be because the files didn't download properly, or there's a pending update, etc. So let's wait for Free Fire to download and we'll continue the tutorial. Okay, once it's downloaded, all we have to do is tap Open, and as you can see on screen, Free Fire will start and it will let us log in. Here we reject the notifications, and now we just wait for the current Free Fire update to finish downloading so we can log into our account, and you'll see that it works easily and quickly. Let's wait a few seconds for this update to finish, since Free Fire usually has quite a few updates, and we constantly need to keep it updated. That's why, during one of these updates, you might get an error that won't let you log in to your account. So let's wait a few seconds for it to finish installing, and we continue with the tutorial. Alright, once we're inside the game, we allow this, and all we have to do is log in with Apple, Facebook, or Gmail, whichever you used for your game account. I'm going to log in with my Apple account. Let's start with my ID, and as you can see, we just need to wait a few seconds, and that's it, we'll be inside our account. So guys, I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Cheers and goodbye.